Robert Irwin, Untitled, 1983. Robert Irwin began as a painter, an abstract painter, and began to look at his paintings uh, thinking about the frame and thinking about where the paintings were placed. He worked on different uh, projects where he used scrims to change the configuration of a room s subtly in ways that you had to discover. Uh, he began to think about light and space. He was one of the early California artists who became known as a light and space artist. This work went in right after the sun god, and I thought it was important to have something very different than the sun god, something that would indicate that we were not going to just put up oversized statuary all around, and that something that maybe even considered the sun in a very different way. Irwin, when he began as an artist in the late 1950s, early 1960s, was an abstract expressionist painter. And that evolved through a series of methodical, deliberate, uh, highly considered steps into a practice by the late 1970s, when I first encountered it, that essentially amounted to looking at an empty room, uh, or what appeared to be an empty room. He developed his paintings step by step until they began to interact with and consider and invite the presence of the space that they were in more and more until he eliminated the presence of the painting or the object itself completely. And it forced you to attune, it forced the viewer, viewer to attune uh, himself or herself to uh, a, a kind of attentiveness uh, that you're not used to when you're looking at art. And he developed this into uh, something that um, he took out into the world. And that's what this piece from the early 1980s is. And it's something that also is conditioned by your own perception. You, the unique individual, you have a sense that you, uh, at that moment, are perceiving this environment in a way that is, and this piece in a way that is different from the way it's ever been perceived by anyone else, because it's so much subject to its environment and to the sort of singularities of the weather, the sun, the, 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 the conditions that are right there immediately in the, in, in the area. People have changed their mind about this work sometimes. One actually staff member, a planner, told me that it had become her favorite work because it had no beginning and no end. It was different every time she saw it, and she found it interesting time after time. This work is artwork about paying attention. If you pay attention, you really discover multiple levels of meaning and experience and a life of this work. There's a rumor that this uh, work is a, a giraffe catcher and one graduate student recently made a huge life-size giraffe out of I guess paper mache and wood um, that sat in the grove. Well it didn't, it stood in the grove. That's just another one of the many rumors about this work. We don't have very many giraffes around here, but... Um. <laughs>